I've always wanted a custom breakout board for hardware hacking and reverse engineering, and I finally saw one on a video on YouTube that really looked like it suited what I was always kind of wanting in my head. Well, today we'll go ahead and make that through from start to finish. We'll have a PCB fabbed up by PCB way. We'll get the components added to the board and even make an electronics kit out of it. For the electronics design, I used KiCad. The files for this and the Gerbers and everything are open source linked in the description below, but the circuit is pretty straightforward. It's a left to right flow, or it could be right to left, with the dip switch in between. The dip switch is so I can sever the circuit anytime I want on any of these items. The bottom ones have no connection through from right to left. They allow you to put stuff on the proto area and then hook things up to the screw terminals as you see fit. So you can add push buttons or capacitors or resistors or LEDs or anything you want in circuit in test on any of this. And the cool part, you can put a jumper across anything from left to right and then hook your amp clamp onto it and measure current flow through the circuit. Pretty cool. Ordering on PCBWay.com is as easy as just picking the selections from their main page. We'll go with the $5 boards today. You can pretty much leave everything default in this case. It's going to be one board per panel. Uh, the boards are a little too big to panelize. And we're just going to pick a little different color. We'll go with red today and a white solder mask and just leave everything else as defaults. Go to checkout and you just upload your Gerber zip file. So you're done. That's it. Oh yeah. My favorite thing is packages from PCB Way lately. It just makes me happy. Got some more stickers. I already stole one out of the package. And another pen. Can't have too many pens. Just some foam. As always, everything is packaged just beautifully. And these are the boards. This is my newest project, the Probe Master PCB. And I. I'm excited. This is going to be pretty cool, I think, to have finally a board that I haven't needed every day, but it's been on my mind each time when I go to do like uh, working with an unknown piece of hardware, or even sometimes when I'm repairing things, I always just wanted to have this breakout. And well, this is exactly what I pictured in my head. Oof, throw that one on the floor. <laughs> this is the version 0.1. So our dip switches will go up the middle there. We have our proto area. We have screw terminal area and everything is a flow left to right or right to left if you want. Ground, grounded uh, mounting holes and then these uh, grounded pads here that we can just clip our alligator clips onto. And man, oh man, I'm gonna get a macro lens. Check this out. Isn't that cool? That is a pretty spiff looking board. Uh, routing definitely is not the best and there's nothing fancy about it. Uh, it will pick up noise and stuff, but this is, this is not for really high frequency sensitive circuits. This is for hardware hacking. And uh, it should do the trick. We can add on whatever components we want. I'm already thinking some push button switches because why not? That'll be super handy to just tee into certain circuits. And I love this red, it just, it's cool. And I actually picked the red because um, I've just always been inspired with the bus pirate. And most of the bus pirate versions I've seen were red, if my memory serves me right. Could be wrong, but um, I think the version I have is red. Um, yep, the version I have hanging on the wall is red. And uh, I just can't wait to put this into use. So that is our PCBs fresh from PCB Way.
Now we have an interface board for hardware hacking or playing around that we can tee into just about any circuit we desire. Like I said earlier, this thing is not for high frequency use. The traces are all pretty big and pretty wide open, so you might introduce noise, but for reverse engineering how a component works or tying in other components, this does the job. I've played with it quite a bit and it does what I need it to do. I love being able to turn off the dip switches and sever a circuit and then easily remake it again or hook up my amp clamp into the circuit is so easy now. All the files are linked below. Uh, everything's free in my GitHub. All the KiCad files, Gerber files, you can have these made. I will make kits available in my store in case you don't want to make your own. Uh, I have the PCBs all set with the dip switches installed because these uh, the spacing on the dip that I chose in KiCad is actually the wrong size for standard dip wasn't aware that there'd be that many dual inline packages, but there are. So feel free to grab a kit from me if you like, or have your own fabricated. It's all out there now. You're free to use it, take it forward, use it for what you desire, make it your own, redesign it. Just have fun. Hope this helps someone. Good luck in all your electronics projects. Let me know if you like these videos, click a thumbs up on it. Really, really helps the channel. Uh, I'd love to hear from you down below in the comments if you like these kind of projects. Uh, it truly helps the videos when you guys throw a comment or have something to say. And I like interacting with you guys. It's a, you're a cool bunch of people out there. Talk to you soon.